Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through a hundred plus holiday gift ideas for 2023. Basically my ultimate Christmas wish list. Although not everything on this list is on my personal wish list, but there are a ton of things that are, including many products that I love and use in my everyday life or things that I think would make a great gift for a loved one or yourself. If you're shopping for Black Friday this week or looking for some last minute Christmas gift inspiration, this is the video for you. I did a similar video last year with 50 plus gift ideas. So I'm trying not to repeat myself. These are mostly unique, except for a couple that, you know, might have a new version come out this year and just a bunch of unique gift ideas for someone like me in your life if you're looking for some inspiration. Okay, so this holiday slash Christmas gift guide is for all budgets. So there are some high end, some low end, and you know, in between gift options. And there are five categories to the list. We'll start with tech, move on to home, kitchen, is its own category because there was a ton of things in that category. Beauty, which encompasses like fashion, skincare, accessories, everything like that. And then other for just a few that, you know, couldn't fit into those other categories. Let's start with tech. So the first thing on the list is a phone case. Obviously with the new iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro and all those that just came out, someone might be looking for a new case. I have this clear one that's equally as protective as it is cute because I put a little Polaroid in there of my friends. So yeah, that could be an idea. The second is a Polaroid printer. I remember putting a Polaroid camera on the list last year. I might've even put the printer, but it's perfect because then you can print any photo in a Polaroid style and like use it for scrapbooking or whatever. Then we have something that I saw floating around recently, the OctoBuddy, which is basically this like silicone stick on thing that you add to the back of your phone that basically you can suction cup your phone onto a window or a mirror or something like that. Great for a content creator or, you know, great for taking a selfie wherever you are. The next is a higher ticket item, an iPhone, whether that's the new one or a refurbished one, obviously a higher priced item, but obviously an amazing gift. Then an Apple watch. And then I put down mic. So could be a mic for a camera for a content creator, or even just a high quality mic that someone can use for work. You know, they work from home, they want better audio, or they've just started podcasting, or they might want to get into that. The next thing is a neck slash back massager. I just started using one and I am obsessed with it. We got it during the clear out of the Bed Bath & Beyond sale that they were doing in stores. So that specific one might not be available, but I'll try and find a link to it. Oh, and there's gonna be everything on this list linked down in the description or in the comments below. If you do wanna shop any of those links, I may earn a commission, which will help me out. I really appreciate your support. But yeah, check them out down below. The next item is a foot spa you can use to give yourself pedicures. The next option is is an air tag and then going along with that air tag a keychain so something decorative maybe or just practical that you can stick the air tag in to attach to your keys say or your wallet purse whatever you're using it for the next one is a laptop case obviously that can go along with you know a laptop a macbook or something like that obviously quite a high-end gift as well but yeah a decorative case could be fun i've never put a case on mine but i'm thinking about it now i think it would be cute to add a case to my laptop then i put something more specific specific to me, but a double USB-C charging block. I feel like I'm running out of outlets and spots to plug things in and with everything turning to USB-C, I feel like this would be really, really handy to have one with two holes in one charger. And then also an extra long USB-C cord. I'm pretty sure I put that on my list last year too. And then a portable phone charger, like one of those battery block sort of things. I also put a Kindle on there. I read on my iPad, but I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily have an iPad and might make use of a Kindle. A massage gun, I have one of these as well. Actually, Anthony has one. Anthony's my husband. Obviously, I use it all the time. Love that thing. An instant photo printer, as opposed to the Polaroid printer, one that you can print photos with that are like small. I've seen them a bunch. I've never thought to get one, but now that I'm getting you know older and thinking about sending Christmas cards or like obviously our wedding thank yous and everything like that, I'm like, wow, a photo printer could be quite a good option for that kind of thing. The next one's kind of funny. It's a phone sanitizer. I don't know if you've ever heard that your phone can be dirtier than the seat of a toilet. That's pretty disgusting and you put your face on it and you have it in bed and well, so gross. But I bought one of these like three years ago in the heat of the pandemic and I actually love it. <laughs> I just feel so much more at ease. You just basically stick your phone in it for 10 minutes or there's ones that are less and they work faster. But the one I have, yeah, just 10 minutes and then 
then it's got no germs on it, supposedly. The next thing is a record player. Don't have one of those. Going hand in hand, you can obviously buy someone a vinyl or something to go with it. A Cricut machine, which is basically like a cutting machine. Got one of those too. Absolutely love it. Something with that could be crafts and like vinyl and things for your Cricut, tools, etc. And then the last thing on the tech list is a HomePod. I'm pretty sure they re-released the like bigger version. We have the small version right now. Absolutely love it, but I feel like the big one could be fun for a future gift. We can put in like the living room space. Just a good gift idea. Okay, moving on to the next category, which is home. So starting with a candle warmer, I feel like that is all the rage right now. It basically lets you put the candle underneath and not have a flame. I feel like a lot of candles can be actually bad for your health if it's not like really good wax or like soy wax I think that's the best wax to have and so a lot of candles will like put out black soot you know that black stuff that goes on the glass not very good for you this allows you to get the scent of the candle without actually lighting a flame I just purchased one I haven't unboxed it yet very excited to try one out but that's top of my list. Then candlestick holders, going along with that taper candles. The next thing is a jewelry organizer because I don't have one of those, I'm looking for one. And then a decorative shoe rack. I feel like that's all the rage right now. I've seen it a bunch. Ugh, I don't even know what they're called, but the ones that have that like braided look on the front. I've seen that a lot and I really like the look of it. Anthony had this on his list a few years ago, but it's a skylight, basically projects like a galaxy onto the wall or wherever the ceiling that you projected onto. It's really cool, very vibey, and fun to just put on before going to bed. The next thing is a wake up sunrise alarm. It basically gradually gets brighter as if it were like a sunrise to help you wake up naturally. There is one by a company called Hatch, a little bit more aesthetic looking, but there's tons of versions on Amazon and online that you can find, but I really like the one by Hatch, it's very aesthetic. And then I put on the list Coast could be decorative, could be practical, just to keep your wood safe on a coffee table. The next thing on the list is a fluffy, cozy robe. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, the next thing needs some explanation, a phone holder. Now, I feel like I should have put this on the tech list, but I guess it goes in your home, so whatever. <laughs> Basically something that can hold your phone to display the new standby feature that you can customize to show a clock or calendar or whatever, or something that maybe charges your phone and props it up. Something along those lines, whether it's aesthetic and decorative or practical or both. And then an air purifier. I have one, could be a good gift idea for someone with allergies in your life. Oh, I saw these on World Market. Glass test tube vases, or really like vases in general. I've been propagating a lot of herbs and trying to root like more basil and get a nice herb garden going. And I feel like something decorative to do that would be great. And then a plant. That's pretty general, but you could even get someone a pot for a plant that you know they might have or both. And then a weight set, a salt lamp smart lights so just like the bulbs you can gift someone that to just add to their home i absolutely love it because i can just say hey siri turn the light on then there was this one thing that i saw i think it's called the friendship lights it was on etsy but i'm sure there's multiple different variations of a similar thing me and my husband were long distance for years and i feel like this could have been a really cute gift idea for us or now i have a bunch of long distance friends because i just moved to the usa and i'm from canada so that could be a cute gift idea for someone like that. I don't know exactly how it works. It's basically a set of two lights and they work in tandem with an app to let the other person know you're thinking of them, which is super cute. And then I have a decorative matchstick container, basically, you know, those like glass ones that you can put on display, but also use the matches to light a candle, etc. Hand soap. Everybody needs hand soap. <laughs> you can always gift them a cute decorative hand soap for the holidays or something more practical or something even sustainable. There's this company called EcoKind Cleaning where they're basically like soap pods that you stick in water. Less waste if you're rebuying like the soap containers all the time. So a little bit more sustainable and a great gift idea. And then a candle accessory set. So snuffer to snuff the candle and like clippers. There's a lot of sets online like that. And then last year between Christmas and you know New Year's during that 
that point. I got into puzzles a lot last year. I did this Christmas puzzle over that time and was obsessed. So puzzle, you can give someone a puzzle. Okay, I'm gonna try and rapid fire the rest of this list. Otherwise this video is gonna be a million years long. In my kitchen list, Dutch oven, Arrochino, which is, ba oh, it needs explanation. Oh my gosh. So, you know, the Nespresso thing that like froths the milk. We got that as a gift that I had put on our wedding registry and I'm obsessed with it. It basically froths your milk and makes beautiful cappuccinos or lattes or whatever, even cold foam. So fun. And then a KitchenAid bowl. Obviously you can give someone a KitchenAid as well, but if they already have one, you can get them a different bowl so they can have multiple. And then a crepe pan, that's something on my list. <laughs> Another thing on my list is a Disney Mickey Mouse espresso cups. They're very cute. They like look like Mickey when you look from the top. Very adorable. And then this is kind of more just related to me. Maybe it's a boring gift idea, but like kitchen slash pantry organizers. So like baskets for your onions or potatoes or like cereal or flour storage canisters. Decorative food jars slash canisters. Something more decorative that you can style at your coffee station or something like that. Like I really want one to put matcha in. And then bamboo drying rack for your dishes. Doesn't have to be bamboo, but that's something that I'm envisioning. Ninja Thirsty. You can make like bubbly fun drinks with that machine. And then the Ninja Creamy. Both of those things are really like trending right now. The creamy version, you can make like frosty style things and like ice cream and stuff stuff like that. And then a meat thermometer. We love our meat thermometer. Measuring cups slash spoons. Because they go into the dishwasher so much that I feel like I need another set of both things, but I want them to be cute, you know, like gold or something. Then there's the always pan, which I love. It's by our place. A pricier pan, I will say, but they're very decorative and functional and I do love mine. We got that on our wedding registry as well. I feel like this whole entire section is like great wedding registry gift ideas as well. And going along with that is the perfect pot, just the pot version. I don't have that one. And then this is kind of random, but like a HelloFresh gift card. You know, everyone needs food. <laughs> to eat and someone busy in your life could benefit from that. It's basically a food subscription service. So they send meal kits to your house. I'm sure you've seen the ads on YouTube. A decorative cutting board. So one that could go and display on your backsplash in your kitchen. I just had to change my battery. So hopefully the angle is not too different. The next item is a bit more trendy. It's the Ember Temperature Control Smart Mug. Also kind of bougie because it's a higher priced kind of item, but the sound sound of having your coffee or tea or whatever stay hot while you're sipping on it. Like I'm not one to chug my drink. I like to enjoy it. If something can just stay perfectly to your temperature liking as long as you want, that sounds like a dream to me anyways. The next item is reusable silicone bags, you know, to replace your Ziploc bags and be a little bit more sustainable, less wasteful. Salt and pepper pots. I really love them, especially measuring out salt and pepper, just so much easier for recipes. Another good item to be a little bit more sustainable is a silicone nonstick baking mat. I've started using them as a replacement to parchment paper and they've been great so far. The next item is probably the biggest game changer in my life is the air fryer. I know I'm a little late to the game. I feel like air fryers were all the rage for so long and I just never got one. So I never got into it, but I love mine. I would highly recommend an air fryer if you don't have one already. Another gift idea is what in cooking utensils or any cooking utensils really. A pasta attachment, specifically for a KitchenAid. I love making homemade pasta. Probably one of my favorite things to do. A berry colander. Something cute and decorative that you can like put on the counter and display. Glass straws. I prefer the glass ones over the metal ones because then you can see whether they're clean or not. Although they can break, so be wary of that. A cookbook or, you know, books in general. So that's more of like a other kind of item, but cookbooks specifically. And then a tote bag slash reusable shopping bags. A mandolin. If you've never heard of a mandolin before, it basically helps you slice, even slices of, you know, potatoes or cucumber or whatever. It also has other attachments, you know, like a shredding thing, as well as some other things. I do have the KitchenAid attachment, the food processor attachment that does help you slice and everything, but you do have to cut things in to the feeding tube so that it fits. The mandolin would help avoid that. And then there's some other features that the one I have on my list would help me do that the KitchenAid one won't. So something to help with food prep in the kitchen. Oh, and then the next thing I put on the list is the KitchenAid food processor 
officer attachment, which has been such a great handy item as well. And then this other one is kind of random, but an ice mold wine bottle chiller. You can basically make an ice mold and put like fruit or flowers or something for hosting that fits a wine bottle in to chill the wine. And then something I also received in our wedding registry was a sourdough bread making kit. Haven't started making sourdough yet. I'm nervous because the last time I tried to make a starter did not go so well. I have to get back into it. But yeah, I'd love to be someone who makes homemade bread. A champagne stopper. This is kind of random. We have corks that we've used, but recently a little traumatic thing happened. I took the Prosecco bottle out of the fridge. It had a cork in it. Like we had already drank it earlier in the week. I didn't set it down hard. I just took it out of the fridge and I was doing something else like on the stove. And I guess the pressure was too much. I don't know what happened, but the little cork thing just like shot out. Gave me a heart attack. Nothing was broken, thank God. The bottle was fine, but oh my God, after that, I'm afraid. I need a good champagne stopper now. And then decorative wine glasses, or really just a wine glass set could be nice. And then a cute kettle or teapot. Moving on to the beauty section. So first thing on the list, cuticle oil. Gotta keep those cuticles nice and moisturized. Then hair clips, that's something on my list. I feel like they break all the time. Always a good thing to stop up on and then a dry brush if you don't know what that is it's basically a brush that you use dry before you get into the shower or bath or anything the whole technique is for lymphatic drainage I'm pretty sure honestly don't know a ton about it but I know enough that I really like doing it it's just kind of therapeutic for me I don't do it all the time but I've tried to get into it more and you just basically brush up towards your heart it's just nice and exfoliating Anastasia Beverly Hills just released a mini sultry eyeshadow palette the sultry palette was my favorite eyeshadow palette still is they just came out with the mini version because the other one the big one I don't know when it was available like a couple years ago that's discontinued so when I saw the mini one I got really excited I'm almost thinking to get it because when I run out of the other one I'll be sad but I haven't hit pan or anything it's a great cool tone eyeshadow palette with lots of beautiful neutrals and shimmers and glittery beautiful shades then the rare beauty lip oil I've heard a lot of good things about I've started using the watermelon glow drops. I don't exactly know what the exact name for them are, but they're by Glow Recipe. Yeah, okay, exactly what I said. Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops Serum. That's a mouthful. Something that I swear by, the Unseen Sunscreen by Super Goop. I also really like the Glow Screen as well. I feel like the Unseen one is just more universal and then like everyone would enjoy. Even my husband loves it. There's actually a dupe as well at Trader Joe's. I don't remember what it's called. I'll leave the name here, but but it's a dupe, less expensive, and it's got the same kind of formula. So if you're looking for a lower priced version, go pick that up. And then the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I saw a mini version of that that comes in a two pack. Could be great for traveling. And I love the setting spray. Then the Fenty Beauty Gloss Volume 6 Full Size Gloss Bomb Trio. I think it's like a gift item in Sephora, but the shades and the different versions, the cream one and then the regular one, it looked like up my street. That trio set, but obviously I have other Fenty Beauty glosses and I love them a lot. I've also heard a lot of good things about the Dior Lip Glow Oil, so that's on my list, as well as Drunk Elephant De Bronzy Bronzing Drops. I had heard about these for so long, never wanted to spend the money on them, but I finally did and I really like it. I add them to my moisturizer or even to the Super Goop Glow Screen and it's perfect for non-makeup days because it just gives me a little bit more bronze to my skin. I'm not wearing it right now, but yeah, I really like that product. And then a more unique gift idea. Instead of just like jewelry, think about customized jewelry. I don't know. I saw an ad for a name necklace a couple weeks ago and I added it to this list. So something like that could be a great gift idea. There was one, I think it was on Amazon. They will customize a handwritten version of that, which that would be very cute and very sentimental. So something like that. And obviously another gift idea is just a piece of jewelry in general. Something different than the Dyson Airwrap. I've heard some good things about the Shark Flex style air styling and drying system. Just a similar thing to the Dyson Airwrap, but less expensive. Pretty sure does just about the same thing. The next item is a facial steamer. Another gift idea is pretty general, but like shampoo and conditioner. Specifically, I've been using the Monday brand. They've been trendy on TikTok, but that's actually not how I heard of them. I just knew of them and started using it like multiple different versions.
versions. The protein keratin repair one is really good. I started using the color protect version and then there's a moisture one. I've used them all, all good. I really like their shampoo and conditioner. And then the last thing on the list is a foot peeling mask. We're almost there. The last section is other. So just a bunch of things I couldn't put anywhere else. So starting with an Amazon Prime membership. Not everyone has Amazon Prime, but I feel like that would be a great thing to gift or gift card. The next thing could be a passport holder, something cute to have your passport in. If you have a Cricut, you could even DIY someone, something that's more personalized, has their name on it or something. That could be cute. I DIY'd luggage tags for some of my girlfriends for the wedding, my bridal party, and some friends coming to my bachelorette. That's a fun thing to gift them as well, just like a luggage tag to DIY or an already customized luggage tag. And then another item, I don't journal as much, but I feel like I want to and I want to get into it. So if you haven't heard of the five minute journal, that's been all the rage. So it could be a good gift idea for someone who wants to get into it. And then another thing, kind of random, but binoculars. Yeah, if you have a friend into nature, you know, there's so many birds in Florida and I notice them all the time. I feel like it'd be so fun to have a pair of binoculars to really be able to see them. The next item is a spa gift card. I'm sorry the lighting is changing right now. Can't do much about that. It's getting like a cooler all of a sudden. But yeah, a spa gift card for someone to get a massage and to pamper themselves or even get their nails done, like a salon gift card, a hair salon gift card to get their hair done. And then a travel bag. I definitely need new luggage. I know I put that on the list last year. I haven't decided exactly what kind of luggage I want, but you know those travel bags that attach to the carry-on with the strap in the back, you know, it like slips on? I need something like that. Another item, rollerblades. I've gotten into rollerblading and I really loved them. I get the most compliments on my Impala blue rollerblades, but there's a ton of other colors that they've got. Such a cute gift idea and so fun. I just love rollerblading. Oh, another item, not just like a travel bag to act as a personal item, but like a cute backpack. So whether that's a small like lounge fly, if they're into Disney or just like a cute kind of like purse backpack could be an idea. A yoga mat. I just know that pickleball has become all the rage. So you can give someone a pickleball paddle. This is another really super random one, very niche, but a flame wand. I don't know if you've seen it on Instagram or on TikTok, but looks like a wand that lights a flame. If you have a Harry Potter fan in your life, get that flame one so they can incendio it up, okay? And then another option could be like soft pajamas, matching pajamas, or just, you know, regular ones. A ticket to a concert, car accessories. So say like a car diffuser that like hangs from your car or sticks in the vent could be an option. Sage has something that you can add essential oils to, but I'm sure there's other like essential oil versions. Decorative car charm that you can get. I saw these really cute ones on Etsy that are knitted. So like, it's like a plant that you can hang from your mirror or you know, anything like that. Or like a sticker for, like a bumper sticker for the back of their car that they might like. The last thing on the list, is car cleaning gel. So it's just like basically like putty gel that you can stick in crevices and get all the dirt that gets into little crevices in your car out. Super random, super specific, but could be a great gift idea for someone with a car who wants to clean it. That's it. What a weird one to end the list on. But that's my full Christmas gift guide ideas for 2023. If you did like this video and got inspired don't forget to give it a like, comment down below any gift ideas I might have missed that you're asking for for the holidays, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season.